Uh, this is Attorney Mike Gravel coming to you from beautiful Anaheim, California, not as usual. And today I've got a gem for you. I really do. Thank you, Jessica. Uh, viewer sent this to me. It's absolute gold. We're, we're in Cedric Simpson's courtroom. We've, we've got a woman. I, I, I call it wild court moments because it had too many things. We, she's drunk. Well, not at the hearing, but that's the reason for the hearing. She's got a towel on her head. Her last name is Bay. <laughs> it's in front of Judge Simpson. It's fantastic. Let's do it. Court calls the case. People versus Monet Mudella Bay. Ray Pider on behalf of the people. Ready, Judge. Torsho Feaster, Assistant Public Defender on behalf of Ms. Mudala Bay. Uh, please unmute and state your name for the record, ma'am. Hi, it's Monet Madula Bay. Madula Bay. Thank you, Judge. I have spoken to her as well. Uh, look at Judge Simpson just trying to hold it together on the name alone. <laughs> he does a good job, but but I know him. I, I can see. Well, to the prosecutor's office. Uh, my understanding is there is an offer in this file for her to plead guilty to count one under the HIDA program with an agreement to alcohol testing, and count two will be dismissed, Your Honor. She'd that like to do that right. today. I'm sorry, she wished you to do that? Yes. Yeah. All right, I do need you to turn on your camera if you would. Yeah. I just woke up, guys. But... And here we go. <laughs> so it will be a plea to count one. Yes, Judge. Yes. Okay, and you said that's with alcohol screening? Yes, Judge. With alcohol testing or screening? I guess testing I'm... is what I received. Testing, okay. yes. Okay. Okay, so that has to be part of any sentence. All right. All right, got it. All right, ma'am, can you please raise your right hand? You solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth to help you God. I agree. All right. State your name for the record. Monet Madula Bay. All right. You can put you can put your hand down. I want it. All right, right ma'am. It is this court's understanding that you're going to plead guilty to the charge of disorderly person drop. That is a misdemeanor punishable by up to ninety days and or a five hundred dollar fine plus court costs. You can you repeat that last part? please which last part um just the whole thing <laughs> so it wasn't the last part you need the whole thing repeat yeah i just want to be at this point say the whole thing. her own attorney can't keep it together uh he, he's a good guy i've seen him on other hearings too the, all of the attorneys have a hard time oh lord when you start with monet medulla bay <laughs> and it just gets worse Thing. I'll I take sure. the towel for your years and then you'll be good. That's the problem. Okay. Ah, yeah, I know. Okay. So, <laughs> you're pleading guilty to the charge of disorderly person drunk. That is yes. a misdemeanor punishable by up to 90 days in jail and or a $500 fine plus court costs. Do you understand that? Yes. Understanding all that, do you still wish to plead guilty? Yes. And to that charge, how do you plead? Um, when you say that, you want me to just say what happened, right? You have to well, say, do you plead guilty? Oh, yes, I plead guilty for being drunk and disorderly and okay. resisting okay. and being alone. He's gonna ask you what happened, so hold on a sec. Oh. <laughs> okay, so at, at the end of the day, she's actually kind of nice. She's you know, she's wacky, but but she's respectful in her way and she's pleasant, she's a pleasant defendant. Uh, and that's why I didn't know how to characterize this. I, I only call her, I, I only think that she might be a more sovereign citizen because her last name is Bay. I don't know anybody with that last name who isn't, but that doesn't mean they don't exist. <laughs> well, here we go. Okay. As soon as I advise you as to what your rights are, you're pleading guilty. Is that correct, ma'am? Yes. All right. Now you understand that by pleading guilty, you'll not have a trial of any kind. I won't have a trial. That's what I said. You understand okay. that? That's yes. the case? Mm -hmm. All right. Because you're not having a trial, you're giving up certain other rights. You're giving up your right to call witnesses to speak for you at trial or to have this court compel their attendance. You're giving up your right to see, hear, and question all witnesses against you at trial. You're also mm -hmm. giving up your right to be a witness for yourself or to remain silent and not have that silence used against you. And you're giving up your right to be presumed innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. You understand that? 
Yes. You understand you're giving up your right to appeal of her? Yes. Are you on probation or parole? No. Has anybody promised you anything other than dismissal of count two to get you to plead guilty to this charge? Um, yes, the first judge that I'd seen, she said she was going to give me a personal bond. I don't know if that was for the first time. I went you mean to the magistrate? The, you didn't see a judge. You saw a magistrate the first time. Oh, magistrate. That's what her name is? Well, <laughs> that's her title. Um... <laughs> I think it's fresh hour probably, but I, I'm not sure. It, it, it's just funny watching watching uh, poor Judge Simpson struggle through this. That she was going to give you a personal bond? Yes. Well, that's what's currently sat. Why, do you want me to take that away and arrest you and then give you a personal Yeah, yeah, you already have that. Oh, Lord. No bond? No, I just was letting you know that's the only thing that I... Oh, I okay. yeah. good promise to you. Yeah. Okay. Anybody threaten you or coerce you in any way to get you to plead to this chair? No. You're doing this voluntarily? Yes. Of your own free will? Yes. And because you believe that you're guilty of this offense? Yeah. What happens in the dark comes to light, so y'all are going to see a video, so yes. <laughs> Okay, you're right about the first part. What happens in the darkness does come to light. But I'm asking you a different question. You're pleading guilty because you believe that you're guilty of this offense? Of being disorderly? And drunk. I thought disorderly was drunk. It can be. Well, I know I was drunk. And disorderly. <laughs> So you're you're so you're pleading guilty to the charge of disorderly drunk because you believe that you are guilty of that offense. Yes. Thank you. On the wrong one. On the date of April 3rd, 2022, at the location of 3135 Scenic Lake Drive, Pittsfield Township, Washington County, State of Michigan. This ought to be fun. Man, what did you do on that date that makes you think that you're guilty? Well, I know that I don't normally drink, and I had, like, a premiere party because I just did a commercial. So, we, you know, we had some drinks. Um, Mm hmm I don't normally drink. Ju judge isn't buying it either. Casual drinks, but I'm not, like, normally a drinker, so I drink them. I guess I was mixing brown and light. I don't know if you know that that's not a good combination. And so, yeah. <laughs> I was drunk. Okay. So, what happened? <laughs> um, I think... I got into it with a family member, and that triggered me to be upset while I was under the influence, and I felt like no one was listening to me, so I wouldn't stop yelling, and so there was one officer <clears throat> that was, like, hearing me out and just understanding, like, I had a lot going on, and then the other officers, I don't think they were understanding, or maybe I wasn't understanding that they were understanding, and they just wanted me to stop yelling. And so I was just still yelling with the officer and Okay, ma'am, hold on. Let's let's back up a second. Where were you when all of this was happening? Scenic drive. Outside. You were outside. <laughs> okay. And so while you were outside and you admit you were intoxicated, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. And you were yelling at either police officers or other people, right? Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And were you yelling loud enough to disturb the peace and repose of the area around you? Somewhat. And other people? What do you Somewhat. Say? Yes. <laughs> okay. What do you mean somewhat? Loud enough 
but I don't think I was Hold that on a loud. Second. You were loud enough to get arrested, right? That wasn't why I was, I don't think I was, the loudness was 100% the reason I was drunk. That was the reason, but I wouldn't not <laughs> stop arguing with them, but my tone was loud. So you were arguing with the police? Yes. In public? Yes. And that caused at least their peace and repose to be disturbed, correct? Yes. And so, <laughs> and so you admit by doing all of that, you were being disorderly. Yes. Counsel, uh, please say yes. But has the court complied with the court rule? Would it be proper to accept this defendant's plea? Yes, Your Honor. The people are satisfied. <laughs> Sometimes it's like picking flowers, other times it's like pulling teeth. Court will accept the defendant's plea of guilty to count one. Count two is dismissed. Ma'am, I'm going to refer you to probation uh -huh. for pre-sentence investigation and report. Okay. Now, there is going to be alcohol testing. Ma'am, you have said numerous times during your plea because I'm considering doing something else that you don't normally drink. Yes. So this occurred in April of this year. Yes. So we are now in June. Yes. So for this entire year, how many times would you say that you consumed alcohol? All right. I, I, I wish this was live because I want guesses. I want guesses as to what she says. You can still put it in the comments. We're on the honor system. Just, 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 uh, j just see if how close you were. I don't know. I'd be prior to, like a couple months before that, I was already in a program that basically was like a drug program that teaches people like. Well, um, I don't know. Go ahead. Go ahead. So. I wasn't. I was. I wasn't. I. I don't think I was drinking a lot before that incident. And I know. I know. Know. I know. Nobody ever does think they're drinking a lot. Listen. <laughs> All I'm asking is from January 1st to today's date, how many times other than this time have you consumed alcohol? Mm. Just ballpark it. A guesstimate. <laughs> Maybe five times. Right. My birthday was January 23rd. I turned okay, 21. Okay, well, thank you for sharing. Well, I had to take I my first shot. Um, <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. I did. Did I? Did I ask it off for the days? I just needed the number of times. Okay. She just turned twenty-one in January. Yes. That's why you had to have your first shot. I mean, I didn't have to, but I'm saying and I was. Then, legal, and then so by April, okay, by April, you were drinking and got arrested. Hmm. Yeah. Not a good track record. That was less yeah. than three months. Yeah. So yeah. here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to refer to probation, but I'm also referring her to Von Swartz for an alcohol screening and assessment so we can figure out the level of testing. Okay, so you got two things you have to do. You have to do an alcohol screening assessment as well as you have to report to probation. Understood? Yes, and if I have any questions on that process, who do I talk to? Talk to your attorney, please. Not, okay. not in. All right. Okay. So I, I didn't mean it that way. Or maybe I did. Sentencing. <laughs> July 13, 2022, 9 a.m. That's when I have to do the testing? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That's when you've got to come back and I impose sentence. You have what to handle mean? the testing before that. Call me and I will help you get everything. You're going to have to get an alcohol screening and assessment and you got to talk to my probation department. Okay. Call me. And I'll help you. Come back on the 7th or on July 13th. And then I'm going to give you your sentence. Okay. Got it? Yes. Bond will continue. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. Yeah. All the other cases are ready to be recalled. Of course, everything is ready now. Um, I have a feeling, though, just curious. All of that stuff I just ordered is not going to happen. 
I'm just telling you. She's going to get here on July 13th. There's nothing going to be ready. And I'm going to invite everybody back because we're going to hear a long story about why it didn't happen. <laughs> just saying. You gotta make sure feast <laughs> yeah, you got to make Feaster. Torsio. I'm here. Do not put that case on Miss Kleeman. You need to come back and deal with that case yourself. Okay, I'll be back. I think, I think everything that just happened it's my fault. and the minutes in my life I don't get back are all your fault. It's my fault, Judge. Just I'm, saying. I'm okay. sorry. I just take sole saying. responsibility. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. <laughs> I know. And even if you don't, I'm holding you responsible. <laughs> Thank you, so much. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, there you have it. That was just too fun. Uh, Judge Simpson in rare form. Uh, you, you know, it, it was a funny hearing. She was charged with drunk and disorderly. She admits to it. But the, the, the serious side there is she doesn't seem to take any of this too seriously. She shows up. I'm surprised. I'm surprised there wasn't discussion of contempt, actually. But the judges just wanted to take the plea. I mean, she's got a towel on her head. She's not putting her herself in frame. She's not taking responsibility. She doesn't think she has a drinking problem, which clearly she does. I, you know, I, I hope they can head her off at the pass because she has a charming side to her. But uh, that, that, like the judge pointed out, that's that's a pretty pretty bad record on drinking. I mean, she she just turned twenty one and she's she's already in court. Uh, you know, having trouble with it. Here at Law Talk, we like to have fun with uh, silly stuff that happens in court and every once in a while and completely by accident, I assure you, you might learn something. Thanks for watching.